Welcome to the Hope for the Journey podcast, a weekday wellness tips program presented by Dr. Denise Marie, Third Order Carmelite. Dr. Denise is a professionally qualified clinical psychologist, health and wellness professor and coach, counselor, plus medicinal herbs educator. Each Hope for the Journey podcast features a well-being key from Dr. Denise, helping you meet your self-care needs for living well. Listener discretion is advised because this and other Hope for the Journey episodes may contain discussions surrounding behavioral health problems and other actual potentially triggering topics. Hello and good day everyone. I hope things are coming along okay for you. My name is Dr. Denise Marie, and welcome to the premiere episode of my Hope for the Journey podcast. On this first episode of the podcast, I will be talking about a self-image checkup. A self-image checkup is a cornerstone, psychological self-care key for living well. So let's talk about the matter of self-image wellness, or the wellness of your self-image. I'm going to begin by asking you a question, a question which you do not have to have an answer to immediately, but a question which you can ponder as I move forward with you in this podcast. It's a self-reflection question of importance for well-being. And this is the question. Is your self-image positively impacting your health? Or could your self-image be negatively impacting your health. Are you aware of the potentially negative health consequences of having a false self-image? I'm going to bring you back to the year 2020, which certainly was not an easy year for us all, but during that time I was blessed to have the opportunity to engage in a health science research project with a lovely group of community health volunteers, Lynn Kanapke, Pragashni Naidu, and Larry Wang. This health science research project was comprehensive because it involved reviewing a very large number of health science investigations about the connection between self-image and human health. And I must say that the results of this research investigation were very eye-opening. I am going to list a number of health risks which you might be facing. Anxiety, sleep problems, migraines, addictions, chronic pain, heart disease, But did you know that these health risks are each potential impacts of one or more particular mistaken self-image issues? I'm going to read the list again. Anxiety, sleep problems, migraines, addictions, chronic pain, heart disease. These health risks which you might be facing are each potential impacts of one or more particular mistaken self-image issues. And you know health risks need to be avoided. So if you are having your health negatively impacted by one or more mistaken self-image issues, I have a follow-up question for you. Would you be interested in changing a full self-image now to prevent greater loss of well-being later? If your answer is yes to a change of mind and change of heart for a positive self-image, It is important to know that there are wellness practices that can be approached for a more positive self-image. And these wellness practices have to do with living as much as possible from your true self. 
your core self. That is the answer. But this means that you would need to shed whatever is a false view of you so that your true self can be unbound and live fully as the true you. A healthy self-image is meant to be kept. A healthy self-image is one that is filled in rather than missing. Marvelous rather than self-rejecting. Accurate rather than inferior or superior. Realistic rather than fantasied. Humble rather than self-idolizing. Capable rather than a slacker. Purposeful rather than insignificant. Loveworthy rather than unlovable. So another question for you to consider. Do any of these types of self images that I just described seem familiar to you? Any of the types that are healthy and or self image types that need changing? I'm going to review them again. A filled in self image rather than a missing self image. Marvelous versus self-rejecting. Accurate rather than inferior or superior. Realistic versus fantasied. Humble rather than self-idolizing. Capable versus a slacker. Purposeful rather than insignificant. Loveworthy versus unlovable. So at this point, with these different types of self-image that I just described, do you think you need a partial or a complete self-image checkup. I would like to read a review that I received from a Christian life coach and counselor about the distorted images of self-research that I did with this lovely group of community health workers. And this Christian life coach and counselor had some very interesting things to say about her work. She said, quote, I have seen how beneficial the distorted images of self research is for clients. Reflecting with clients on the distorted images they currently hold and or have had in the past is life changing. I have witnessed clients being life strengthened when they start using the distorted images vocabulary to describe self image struggles. As I walk through multiple distorted images of self with a client, I also have seen improvement from the beginning towards the end. By the end, the client is more self possessed and can readily see how a particular distorted image is guiding their life. The client can also more quickly recognize lies that come from the distorted images of self that they have. 
overall, this research is a fantastic resource. And I look forward to using it with more clients in the future. Thank you. So the bottom line is this. Living from your true self is a superpower for wellness. So at this point in the podcast, I am wondering if any of you have been wondering what does a true self image look like? Have you been thinking perhaps of people that you know or have seen who you consider to radiate a positive self-image, an image that reveals visible well-being? One or more persons living as much as possible from a true self, a core self, a self unbound and living fully. And in my own mind, I came up with one model, and that is Corrie ten Boom. And for those of you not familiar with Corrie ten Boom, she and her family helped rescue Jews and help them escape the Holocaust during World War II, saving nearly 800 lives. And when I consider Corrie ten Boom, the woman that she is, I see herself as one that is filled in, a marvel, marvelous, accurate, realistic, humble, capable, purposeful, and love-worthy. So if I imagine myself doing a self-image checkup for Corey Ten Boom, I would certainly give her healthy self-image scores. And then I came up with another model of a positive self-image, and that is Chris Tomlin and the way that he radiates living from a true self is pretty impressive. And for those of you not familiar with Chris Tomlin, he is an American contemporary Christian music singer, songwriter, and worship leader from Texas in the U.S., and he has sold over 7 million records. And in imagining myself conducting a self-image checkup for Chris, I see him as someone radiating a self-image that is filled in, a marvel, marvelous, accurate, realistic, humble, capable, purposeful, and love-worthy. So for the results of his self-image checkup, I would rate him with healthy self-image scores. So I think you can tell that both Corey Ten Boom and Chris Tomlin, living from their true selves, is a phenomenon that carries superpower for wellness. Next, I am pleased to be able to share with you a song that I recommend listening to by David Dunn, and it is called Ready to Be Myself. And this song comes from David's album called Crystal Clear. In this song, you will find that it's very revealing about the experience of having a full self-image rather than a true self-image. Yet, the song reveals a very honest seeking to be fully himself. And because of that readiness to living as much as possible from his true self, the song reveals an honest opening up of himself to living a life of more well-being. So as I found this song on YouTube, I am going to read some of the lyrics that thankfully are present on the video to give you an idea of what I am talking about. Here goes. Today is the day I'm waking up to say I'm tired. 
of the way, I rearrange myself to be someone that everybody loves. So I become someone I'm not. Who am I going to be when nobody is watching me? I want to be real. What am I going to do to live what I know is true? I let go. I've been someone else. God, I'm ready to be myself. Now is the time to open up my eyes and see what I will find. That's a lot to take in, but I think you can agree that there is an honest to goodness seeking of a true self unbound and living fully as real. Now, I would like to encourage you toward more care for you and your true self. So I will present some health foods and plants that can actually relate to today's psychological self-care key of self-image wellness. And of course, each of these health foods and plants is for asking your doctor about in advance of doing any new experimentation on yourself. And I bring up these health foods and plants, especially in the pursuit of natural beauty. There is rose water that can be applied to the human face. Calendula, which some of you might know by the term pot marigold. Calendula has numerous ways to be included in a health routine. And there are lovely oranges to eat, which are quite a source of collagen for the benefit of the human body. Again, these health foods and plants can be discussed with your doctor, though I point them out as gifts that can be considered on your journey toward bringing out more of the true you. I also have something brief to share with you today. I have written up this post-it a post-it note to help you hold on to a positive, more true self-image. I hope you will take to heart these words from a friend, actually from the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 15. You are more precious than rubies. Next, there is an extra item that I plan to talk to you about today, a phone app, one that could be of aid in efforts toward a more true self-image. It is called Unique, Self-Love and Reminders, a daily positive self-messages app. This app is from a man named Armando Jimenez. And he calls the app your personal self-love companion. The description alongside the app indicates that it is meant to, quote, elevate your confidence and embrace self-love with unique. This app features daily reminders, compliments, and quotes to empower your journey. Be your best self today and be confident, end quote. Besides this particular app called Unique Self-Love and Reminders, you can also keep in mind that there are other avenues of help available in our Hope for the Journey podcast resource center, which is located on Instagram at cause for hope. That's the word cause, the number four, 
and the word hope. Of course, I wanted to finish this podcast by letting you know how I really appreciate the opportunity to be with you today here, especially to share tips about the pivotal topic of self-image wellness. And please know that I personally wish you more hope for the journey of greater well-being. The Hope for the Journey program airs weekday evenings from 7.45 p.m. to 8.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Instagram and YouTube. Dr. Denise thanks you for listening to her community wellness podcast and wishes you to keep in mind that there is cause for hope of more well-being.